Hello and welcome back to our third uh, Dreams video. It's our Return of the Jedi, our last <laughs> crusade. Uh, I'm here with Holly. Hello. What's going on today, Holly? We're dream surfing. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so we've shown you the bit of the campaign mode that will come with the game, the hub world. And then in another video, we've showed you the creation mode. But today we're going to show you dream surfing. So dream surfing is basically a, a, a mode in this game where you can search for stuff other people have made to play. Right. Now, because we want to really show you just how creative, this video is about how creative this game is. So we are going to do um, a bit of random dream surfing. So you can see here, you can go through everything. You can search either by, you can set parameters. So I only want football games or I only want multiplayer games mm -hmm. or horror games. If you hit this button, it basically, it's like a Spotify radio. Oh, uh, okay. So this is made by somebody here at Media Molecule. It's actually quite harrowing. It's called Please Hug Me. So this is the start of that that dream surfing playlist that has just been curated for us based off our search parameters. Oh, please hug him. Someone please hug him. Oh, no. Short, sweet, but just shows you, again, all of this, the animations, the movements, all of this was made uh, in the tools. Heartbreaking. And that's it. It's great. It's just a little snippet. Yeah, so what happens here is each one is, is sort of load two at a time. So a game loads, and then after about 20 seconds or so, the next one will be ready loaded. So you can just switch right. over to the next one. So this is more of like a, you can see someone's created this as well in the same tool. Look how different they are. That's amazing. This is also really dangerous because already with Netflix, you know, it also plays the next episode. Yeah. I'm never going to be able to stop playing Ooh. these games. Bit of a horror one here. <laughs> now, this one, for example, has multiple chapters. Right. So what it does is it puts the, breaks the chapters up and puts them in your dream surfing. So I'm going to come back to that game in a bit. Yeah. Right. So this one, um, some of you might have heard of things called uh, game jams. Mm -hmm. So recently in the UK, they had a train jam <laughs> where they went on a train to make a game. And this was actually the game they made. Oh, right. So again, looks nothing like the others at all. You know, yeah, I couldn't tell you putting these, this and the last game side by side that they were from the same they're both bit from of dreams. software. Yeah, they're both from Dreams. This, this is like good old 2D platforming. But it just shows what can be done. Yeah. <laughs> Little bit of 3D there just to... It's just insane. Who's this? We don't know. Um, apparently, someone bought a puppet on the train jam and they just wanted to include him in the game. So here he is. Um, he adds a lot to it, I think. Another dimension. Like, it's just so different from the previous ones. And as you're playing it, yes, this is a 2D one, but it switches between the 2D and the 3D as well. Just to show you sort of how in depth you can make something. Is it? Wow. Now, if you're playing something, you're a bit like, okay, I don't like this one. Uh, you can skip. Right. And again, as long as you've played like a good few seconds of it, the next one will be loaded and ready to go. And we're back to that game we were yeah. teased with earlier. Because this one was built like a, a game built on multiple chapters. Right. They've just put the chapters inside the dream sequence, the dream surfing for you. This was quite scary. That was, what was that? That's amazing that scared you a second time round. I didn't see that the first time round. And then on to the next dream. So this particular level was created by a sound designer, I believe, here at Media Molecule. He was off work sick with the flu, and while he had a fever, he decided to create uh, basically a piece of music, but then bring the piece of music to life. I mean, I don't want to put down that amazing bit of music you made in the last video. <laughs> but if you weren't really serious with it, this is the sort of thing you can come up with. Yeah, so what we made in our previous video was very, very basic to show you the tools. But when you know what you're doing, and then 
the guys in meteorology said to animate it like this is very, very simple. That is so good. And you've basically made the next Daft Punk music video. Also, definitely be made by somebody who's got a fever. Yes, that does come through. Again, moving swiftly along. So this one, to me, I feel like I've played this indie game. This feels like a full PSN indie game. Yeah, literally could be. Look at this, and you just transform, and like they've just put the tutorial like in the game world. Again, it's about time to remind everyone. This is all made in dreams. Oh, yeah, 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 no special tools here. This is, you could make this. So this was made by, I believe, one of the web guys? Yes. Uh, this is very simulator-ish. It's, um, you have to try and get this to dock on the space station. Uh, we're not very good at it. Just even that, just that zooming in to create this sort of infrared look and feel. All of that just created in the it's game. so good. So for those people who maybe don't want to make games, maybe they're animators. Well, this just shows you, it's not necessarily about playing things. Maybe it's about watching. So this was made by one of the guys here. He just wanted to make a little animation. <laughs> Recorded the songs, uh, made it all himself. I love these celery guys. They're having a great time, aren't they? One's even got a hat. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. So this dog, I thought this was incredible. I I just look at this. It's a you've literally created a dog fighting game. Again, it's so different, isn't it? The scope is incredible. And again, PlayStation VR day one compatible. So you, can, play, so you can play this in VR. For playing and creating. Wow. Text adventures. Forget fancy animations and graphics. This guy made a text adventure. Oh wow. Like proper old school. It's about you going to a house party. Uh, and you just, yeah, it's a text adventure. He's even got the look down. Yeah. Just something that simple. Again, it's so different to what came before it. Yeah. I love this idea of dreamscaping where you can just go, go from one small thing to the next and you don't know what you're going to get. And then save it and share it, send it to a friend and be like, you need to check this out. Yeah. Like, I love old school text adventures. This blew my mind. This is a multiplayer game. So what we did here, we grabbed uh, a second DualShock uh, and signed in, and then we played some head-to-head -head multiplayer, couch co-op, because uh, the game is couch co-op at the moment. Uh, and it will be, they're adding multiplayer uh, after launch. They said it's pretty much done. The tech interface for multiplayer is done, but there's things like UI and stuff needs working. Right. So that'll come after launch, but it'll be couch co-op for launch. So here we are, two player, let's go. So for the first one, it's like whoever can smash the most targets <laughs> wins. Okay. I went for the light bulbs. Which one are you? The blue I'm one. I'm the blue one. Right. This is. It's a. It's a full. It's the kind of thing you play on one on one Z. Rip. This reminded me of Rocket League almost. It's just like there's stages. Yeah. And then that, now the game's changed. Yeah, now we've got to score goals. But by pressing the button, he can lift. Like, it's ridiculous. I score a home goal. <laughs> and obviously, logic has been set up. So, like, every certain time for when the however many mm -hmm. those drop this one you've got to knock the other player off without killing yourself <laughs> right. which I do 
fantastically. And then, yeah, like just a prop, like a proper selection of mini games. You, you know, yeah, he won. I get it. But yeah, there you go. That is just, I think, in our other videos, we showed you how you make stuff and what Media Molecule had already made. But this particular video, Dream Surfing, has just showed you what is possible, how different things can be, yeah. and how creative you can get. We said at the start of the first video that it might be mind-blowing, and it has completely blown my mind wide open. And we've been covering games for quite a long time, both of us, and I've never seen anything like this before. I genuinely think this could be one of the most revolutionary things we see. Every single person now has access to an affordable set of development tools to make a game. Yeah, there's going to be some amazing stuff that's made. I can't wait to see what people make. In it. I can't. And like I said, this is our third video. So if you've just watched this one, we've got one that's just on the creation mode, which is incredible. And one that just shows you the hub world and the, the main campaign of the game as well. So please check them out. Let us know what you think. I, for me, I felt really reassured that even though I'm not super creative, that there was a lot for this game to offer me and actually provided me with a chance to at least try. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That was a, a brief look into the world of dreams, and we can't wait to see more of it.